What's up guys? This is Jin from Ori Bags and on this channel, we are all about coming up with product videos and tips to help you carry better. So if this is your first time watching, please consider subscribing. Now on this episode, we are going to be checking out the Tula or Tuli Subterra Power Shuttle Plus coming right up. So this awesome product is an extension of Tula's Subterra range. Now if you check out their backpacks, which I will add links in the description box below, you will see the similarities in their design. Now the Power Shuttle is available in three sizes, which is the mini, a mid-sized one, and of course today we are going to be looking at the plus size model. So let's dive straight into this video. First things first, let's talk about price. The Power Shuttle Plus currently retails at 139 ringgit. That's 139 ringgit. It's a little bit expensive, but I think it's a good buy considering the quality of the product, the overall look, it looks really good, and the desirability of this brand. As you know, Tula makes really amazing products. Not only that, this makes an awesome gift, plus it comes with a two-year local warranty. Now let's take a quick look at the packaging. Simple packaging, nothing fancy, there's no box. It comes with a product card slot at the back here. So it gives you basically an overview of what you can fit into the Power Shuttle Plus. As you can see, Tula Subterra Power Shuttle Plus can fit large headphones, a power bank or an external drive and some cables and at the back here they show you some examples of how to fit in all your gear into this bag. Now let me give you some measurements. This Power Shuttle Plus measures at approximately the width 19 centimeters, across is 24 centimeters and in terms of height, which is the depth of the product, it's about 5.5 centimeters. Now, I may not be entirely accurate with my measurements because I'm just measuring the product using a ruler, but it's to give you a better idea on the size and whether it would fit into your bag. It is, after all, a plus size product, so it might not fit easily into your bag. So knowing the actual measurements of it might help you. So to give you a better idea on how it fits and the size of it roughly, I've taken a Tula Subterra 23 liter backpack and I'm just going to show you the size of the power shuttle against this backpack just so you can have a better idea on the fit and this is how the power shuttle will look like against a tote bag that fits a 15 inch laptop so as you can see it's pretty big as well so the product is made from really good durable material I believe it's nylon I'm not sure if the material has been treated to be water resistant but again just for precaution it's best not to expose to water or any harsh elements it's got good padding to keep your gear protected and it comes with ykk zippers now at the back you will notice a mesh pocket on your power shuttle plus this is for you to store your phone while you charge it now there is a pass through over here as you can see this hole this is called a pass through and later i will show you how you can use it to charge charge your phone on the go. Now let's take a look on the inside of the Power Shuttle Plus. So I will show you what are the compartments and what fits where. So as you can see, I've got my headphones over here. Now the Power Shuttle Plus, the way it's designed is truly for you to be able to keep a pair of headphones. Whether your headphones are foldable or non-foldable, the size of the Power Shuttle Plus will be able to house and protect your headphones. Now, let me just move this aside and I'll show you the compartments. So there is a little mesh pocket over here and it's secured with a button over here. And as you can see, the label says for your headphones. Initially, when I opened up the Power Shuttle Plus, I thought this little clip right here is to secure my headphones but apparently it's not so i think based on the instructions um given by tula it's basically just to secure this uh, pocket over here so if you want to keep your headphones it's to be stored like this just on top of the mesh pocket and i believe you can definitely store some things inside here so maybe some extra cables and whatnot Okay, so you got two pockets inside here. Now you cannot fit a power bank inside here simply because the slot is a bit too narrow. So let me show you the other compartments. There are elastic loops available in the Power Shuttle Plus as usual. There's also an elastic loop here for stationary, a pen. There's also a big pocket over here. I think you can store your external drive, your power bank and a zipper compartment as well. So I'm just going to load this up. 
and I'm going to show you how it fits. So I've got my external drive. Let me just remove the cable. I'm just going to keep it inside here. Some smaller items like my mini charging cable, my thumb drive, some Apple accessories. I'm just going to shove it in here, see whether it fits nicely. Okay, so, so far so good. And I've got my magic mouse and I'm going to try and slot it right here. So I don't think it will be a problem. It might just make your headphones bulge up a little. So we'll see whether it closes later on. Now, I'm going to show you how to charge your phone on the go with the pass-through. So I've got my power bank over here and I'm just gonna plug it in. Okay, so it's plugged in. And I'm gonna just put the power bank over here and with my charging cable, put it through the pass-through. All right. Okay, so there she go. And should come up beautifully right over here. And I've got my phone, plug it in, and you are ready to go. So this is how it looks like with the pass-through. Now I'm sure some of you are also wondering whether this fits a MacBook charger. So I've got my charger over here. I'm going to just try it out and see whether it fits into the Power Shuttle Plus or not. I think it should be able to. You just got to rearrange it in a certain way that it doesn't get in the way. So yeah, I think if you put it this way, it can definitely close. I'm just going to close it. It's a bit tight, but it's okay. All right, so, so far so good. Everything feels very compact, nicely fitted into the Power Shuttle Plus. And there you have it, guys. That was the Tula Subterra Power Shuttle Plus Cord Organizer. Now, if you like what you see and you want to get your hands on this baby, then head on over to oribags.com or check out the link at the description box below. Click on it and it'll take you straight to the product page. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Again, we hope that you found it very useful. I've also listed out the links as usual in the description box below. So do check it out for some extra information. Now, if you want to check out the videos that I did on the Power Shuttle Mini or the midsize, you can click on the links on the screen right here. That's right. And don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to us for more product videos and tips on how to carry better. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!